Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce theme development with REST API. And in the previous episode, we learned about how to create the web hooks for Stripe and the different functions uh, to prepare the data for the Stripe functionality uh, so that we can integrate the Stripe API. And in this video, we'll continue further on that. So, so far we were on the create checkout session and redirect function. And we said that we we're going to create a thank you page also. So let's do that. So we'll go to the pages directory and we'll create a file called thank you. The name of the file needs to be the same as the slug of the URL. So thank you.js. I'm going to paste the code snippet here. I'll explain to you. So here we basically have created a component called thank you content. And here we have access to the cart from the context API. We set is session fetching. We initialize this so that because it's going to get the data from the session, which is the session ID, which is passed in the query param and the order ID. Uh, we need some time to let the user know that it's loading. So that's why we require that. And we use this to set the session data and then session ID. Okay. So now I think th this is deprecated. So let's use this window type of window here. Yeah. Instead of process dot browser. Okay. So you can change this process dot browser to type of window, uh, also because it's deprecated in the next years, but uh, yeah, you can do that later. I'm don't want to break the flow right now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, basically checking that you are in the client side and not server side. That's the whole reason of using this. So you can change this to type of window because window won't be available when you are on the uh, server side. So it'll only be available in the client side. Okay. So you can use that. Uh, then uh, local storage dot remove item. We remove the item from the cart. Okay. And set cart equals null. So basically clear the cart. And then we, we call the get stripe session API. So this is over here get stripe session api okay so this is going to get us the uh, data uh, so we're going to pass the session id there and this is going to give us the uh, session data we'll get the data there which will contain basically the order information so so that's why we're using uh, that over there and uh, reason why we have the order information is because when we were creating the stripe session we passed whatever data you're going to pass when you are creating the session for the Stripe, all of that data will be available here when you want to retrieve it using that, that session ID. Okay, so remember that we created Stripe session and we were passing some data here. We created this session data, right? So what data that you pass there will be available here. Okay, and then you get that response and then we use that response to display the uh, order that was placed on the thank you page. Okay, and just basic things have happening over here. We're checking that uh, for as long as the session is uh, fetching, show the loading uh, component and otherwise go ahead and show the actual content of what was ordered. Session data dot metadata, customer email. And if you notice metadata, custom email, that's the information that we passed inside of the session when we created the session and that's all accessible here. Okay. And uh, we just say thank you content. Uh, and we of course use the layout get the header and footer inside of get static props so that's what's basically happening there so there are two more things we need to do here first is create the loading icon okay so let's do that so go to source components icons and over here i'll create a file called loading dot svg and paste this code here and then just run npm run svg so our svg package is going to use this loading and create an uh, a loading component over here so now you can see it's created that that's good and now we have the loading component basically which is nothing but the svg so that's what's happening here and uh, we'll close that and come back to our this function so now that we've got everything is expected let's go ahead and test this out okay okay so we have these items in the cart let's click on stripe let's place order this time let's fill all the information Okay, let's place the order. There you go. It goes to the stripe, checkout stripe.com. 
And here we need to enter the dummy data, which is 424242. Okay, and any valid um, expiration date, you can put anything. And then put your name there. And then pay. So you can see that that's already showing uh, in the test mode. And uh, these are the products that we had ordered. Processing, processed takes you to the thank you page uh, with the loading and then we have all the details of the uh, order that we placed payment is successful order details are these order number email address and now if you go to the stripe and if you check webhooks refresh you can see that uh, currently it's 11 35 so 11 35 35 this got completed uh, this one and uh, this has all of the uh, product details uh, line items etc that's my name email address billing details order id was 187 if you take a look order id is 187 that's the same one on the stripe dashboard and uh, payment intent uh, card mode of payment so all of the data that you need success url is also present here all the data that we had passed and the type is session checkout.session.completed that's the event all right, so congratulations. So this all is working fine. And uh, just to let you know, you know how it worked basically was when you place the order, uh, order is created at the back end in the WordPress. So if you go back and check, the order is created two minutes ago. This was the same order for $36. And once the order was created, then we created an, uh, session, a Stripe session. We went ahead and uh, made a request to the Stripe. So it took us to the payment page once the user made the payment then this event got fired so the webhook got triggered and uh, because we already listening to that event we went ahead and set the payment to success and uh, at the same time uh, we have all of the data here and we redirected the user to the success url and then retrieve all of this data using the session id and just printed that to the user that order is processed which is brilliant Okay, I was using the um, live webhook. So although it worked, it, you won't really see the payment is approved on orders because it's not. we are not running it locally. It is expecting this URL there. But when you actually go into the production where you deploy it, it's all going to work. Uh, if you really want to see this working on locally, you could do something like, let me show you. You can log in through Stripe using Stripe. Okay, and then you listen by forwarding your request to your local API Stripe webhook. So this is an example of how I'd done it earlier. There's a video also there which kind of demonstrate you the whole thing. You can watch it uh, to see how, how that works. So you listen to that, you forward that request to your local. And then finally, when those requests come in, you'll be able to see that those requests are being fulfilled and you, you can run Stripe locally and test it also, all right? Perfect. So that's all about it. I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up uh, and do start my repository, support my work, follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayyad and my Twitter handle is Coditech. And uh, click on the super thanks uh, to support my work just below the video. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.